In January 1513, Raphael was very engrossed in creating a charcoal drawing of Federico in the beautiful clothing and cap that had been sent to him as props for the purpose. There's a humorous passage in a letter from an agent to Francesco in Mantua in which the youth is described as finally breaking away from the tedious sitting, jumping on his horse in full regalia and galloping off down the street. Raphael completed a great deal of this commission, but under external pressure. When Pope Julius was on his deathbed in mid-February 1513, the artist abruptly returned the clothing props, saying that he no longer had the mind, il cervello, to work on the portrait. It's possible that the artist realized that the boy would soon be sent home to Mantua and that his task would therefore become more complicated, or rather that he no longer felt the same sense of obligation now that Julius, who had so wholeheartedly accepted the youth into his court, was no longer part of the equation. This was a great disappointment to Isabella and Francesco. When we consider the portraits that Raphael carried out around 1512, 1513, such as the sublime Donna Velata in Florence, it is abundantly clear that his work would have represented the future and modernity vis-a-vis -vis Francia's delicate figure. The monumentality, the sense of physical presence, the spatial complexity, and the idealization of Raphael's portraiture would have presented Federico as a newly mature youth of stature and even grandeur. The more painterly quality of Raphael's brushwork in just these years would have brought the surfaces of Federico's clothing, the damasks, the golden threaded beretta, and the reflective armor alive in a way that few other artists could have achieved. The same subtle sense of life that Isabella sought in Leonardo's portraiture, knowing that she would find it in the Cecilia Gallerani, is what she now sought again some 15 years later in Raphael. 